who taught us to be men. Possibly the most erotic story I've ever heard. <laughs> Tell me, what did she smell like? Huh? Could you smell other men on her? <laughs> oh. oh, what? It's her job, for God's sake, you prudes. You try having sex with someone new every 20 minutes and see what you smell like. You can take it from me. It's no picnic. <clears throat> Fernicum, how do you know some science, mate? You are a bloody animal. That's right, mate. We're bloody animals. It's instinct. You can't fight it, Alex. Deeply embedded in the male DNA. Oh, Spread that gene pool as widely as possible. Speak for yourself. Good night. Out. Alex. You... <coughs> Uh, it's a cupboard. cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wish we got the room with the laundry chute now. <laughs> but you know, McBride, men, we're born to spread it round. You know what I'm on about? <coughs> oh, I know exactly what you're on about. I've got kids in four states, mate. <laughs> I envy you, Howard. No attachments. Pick of the crop. No overbearing female dominating your life. Paradise. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Thought it might be you. Hi. You got the flowers? <laughs> Kangaroo, for I know they're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was your special day? <laughs> I miss you too. Yeah, and I'll be. Uh, <laughs> Home shortly. <laughs> Let's go. I, I gotta rush. Okay. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Goodbye, mommy. <laughs>